auctions. That's an auction that happens because you didn't pay your real estate taxes. Money that's left over from that auction can be claimed by the former owner. Now you might ask, well, what do you mean money left over? How would that happen? It's just when the property sells for more than the taxes. And I'll talk a little more about that later, but when the property sells for more than the taxes, of course the government keeps the tax money, but anything over and above that is available to be claimed by the former owner. But here's the problem. The former owner only gets the money if they know the money is there and they ask for it. And the government is, is passive about this. They don't actively help people. They don't go out looking for former owners, you know, tracking them down to knock on the door and hand them a check. That's not the way it works. You have to apply for the money. Not difficult, but people have to put in an application for the money and then it gets paid out. It's similar to the way, you know, if you think about your annual tax return, whether you owe taxes or not, you need to fill in a tax return. And if you're owed a refund, which most people are, especially if you have a regular job they, because they deduct taxes, so there's extra money left over, to get your refund, you have to fill in your tax form and you know your 1040 or 1040 easy. You fill that in and just check off the box, send me my refund, and they'll do that. But if you don't fill in your tax return and check the box to send you the refund, then they don't send you a refund. So this is similar to that. But what I was talking about was IRS taxes. This is real estate taxes. So here's the deal. If the former owners ask, they get the money. No question, no problem. Just like the IRS, they just send you your money. But if the former owners don't ask, then something terrible happens. That money eventually forfeits to the local government. And once it forfeits, it's gone and it's gone forever. And that is an absolutely terrible result. Can you imagine these people lose their house because they couldn't pay the real estate taxes? Then the house is sold at an auction and when there's money left over, the people aren't going to get the money unless they figure out it's there and they apply for it. And the fact is that most people never know there's any money there. They don't apply for it. So this, most of this money just forfeits to the local government. And that's pretty horrible. And this is a lot of money we're talking about. There are literally hundreds of millions of dollars all over the United States waiting to be claimed right this minute. And the reason is that on an average day in America, over 3,000 tax foreclosures are completed. And average day, I'm talking about Monday through Friday, business days, so just to be clear. But an average day, 3,000 tax foreclosures are completed, meaning the property was sold. And according to J.P. Morgan Chase, which did a study of this market, they said those tax foreclosures generate $13,698,630.14 on average each and every day. Now, not all of that money is excess funds or leftover. You know, some of that money goes to pay off the principal, but a couple million dollars a day comes into the system. A couple million dollars a day, so it's pretty amazing. And here's why this matters to you. You can get paid a finder's fee of between 30 and 40% of the money that you help people get back for your help in helping former owners get their money back. And what I'm here to show you is a business system that can get you those finder's fees. And this is a very profitable business. And it's profitable because the deals are sizable. You know, just a run of the mill overage, which is what we call this money that's left over, it's twenty to forty thousand dollars, just run of the mill. And now because house prices have gone on so much, six figure deals where someone's owed a hundred thousand dollars or more are getting common. And I'm gonna show you some lists a little bit later in this presentation. You'll see what I'm talking about. But keep an eye out because you'll see Six-figure deals relatively common and twenty dollars to $40,000 are kind of a dime a dozen. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be recovering the money. And that typically takes 8 to 10 hours per transaction or per deal. And then you're going to earn a percentage of what you bring back. And I think typically you know, 8000 to 16000 per run-of-the-mill deal based on a 40% fee. In our firm, we charge 40%. Free country, you're free to charge a little more or a little less. But... You know, if you stick with the 40%, which is what we do, then it's eight to $16,000 per kind of run of the mill deal. If you're saying, well, I'm going to be a little cheaper, I'm going to charge 30%, fine, that would be $6,000 to $12,000 per deal. Remember, this is something that takes you typically eight to 10 hours. And best of all, I think, you know, I talked earlier about how this is a low risk business. Best of all, this is not anything that you invest any significant amount of cash in. You're really investing eight to 10 hours of your time providing a service and your service is to go and get that refund money. You're not buying the refund. You're not you know, financing the refund. You're not borrowing money to get them money. Instead, you're offering to help them get their money back. You're helping them fill in the forms, putting in the application and following up. 
And when you bring back the money, you get paid for doing that. So it's, it's pretty awesome. That's why it's so low risk because you're not putting out any significant cash. And this is huge dollar potential. You know, literally right now, as we speak, there are hundreds of millions of dollars sitting in government holding accounts just waiting to be claimed across thousands of claims. So there's way more than anybody can do, way more than I can do. And people ask me sometimes, like, well, why do you tell anybody about this business? Well, you know, frankly, two things. One, we make money doing the teaching. So I'm very transparent about that. We make money doing teaching because it's part of what we do in our business. But more importantly, there are so many claims out there that you know, literally when you think of 3,000 properties being sold per business day in America, you know, we can barely scratch the surface of that. I certainly can't do 3,000 claims a day. So, you know, from my point of view, there are way more claims than we can ever do. So we may as well teach other people like yourself who want a great business that you can do that doesn't have a lot of risk, that doesn't cost a lot of money, and where you can help people. Because the people that we're talking about helping are absolutely flat on their back broke. You know, when you're so broke that you lose your house to tax sale and you lose your place to live, it's really sad. And these people really need our help. And We've taken people who are homeless and helped them get back into housing. We've helped people who just need a reliable car to get to work and you know to, to live their life. We've taken people who just you know need some additional training. We, we had one person that was a very young woman. She was an heir to an estate that, that was owed $32,000. We got her her money and she paid for beauty school. So she'd get licensed you know, to have a job and live for the rest of her life. So you're really going to help people in really significant ways. And the reason we teach it is because there's so much opportunity that we can't handle it all. I really want to help the other people. And, you know, again, to be transparent, we make money on the teaching too. So, you know, I'm not pretending I'm a saint here. I'm a business person, but I will give you great education so you can make this amazing business. And you know, back to your money, which is really what matters. Imagine the finder's fees that you can make and the help you can give because there's literally a couple million dollars a day coming into the system over a couple thousand claims. And they pile up for years at a time. And we're going to talk a little bit later about how long they pile up for. But, you know, it varies by state. And I'm an attorney, so we've done all the research for each state. So I can, I can tell you based on our research how long that is. And that's part of what you get with our course. You get that legal research. But I would say just for purposes of discussion, three years is kind of typical. So imagine 3,000 properties being sold at tax sale every business day in America and that money piling up for three years. Pretty amazing. So you might wonder, and often people wonder and ask me, you know, why don't former owners get the money themselves? It's really simple. Those former owners have absolutely no idea that any money could be available. What they assume is that, well, you know, the government sold my house so they keep the money. So because they assume that, they never ask. It's not like they contact the government that took their house and say, I wanted to talk to you about this. Is there any money left over? They're way too afraid, intimidated, and probably angry with the government to want to talk to anybody over there. So the sad thing, because these people don't know, they've lost their home, and now they're going to lose the excess cash generated from the sale of their home. And to be clear, that excess cash is the amount that the house sells for versus the amount of taxes that are due. And that's really sad, because these people need the money more than anybody. And a great thing about this business for you it's pretty simple with some help. You do need to know a few things. You need to know how to get lists of available monies. Now, I'll show you how to do that with just an email. It's, it's really pretty simple. You're also going to need to know the unclaimed property laws. So these things are all state specific. You know, the way each state works is slightly different. None of it's all that complicated, but you do need to know specifically for your state, most importantly, how long do I have to claim the money? And you can work in any state. Also, to be clear, you can work in every state. You don't have to limit yourself to your own state. This is all done by mail, by email, by internet. This isn't something where you need to meet with anybody. So the whole country is open to you. So even if you live in a rural area, or for that matter, outside the United States, or you just feel like working someplace else, or you just want to capture a bigger market, you're free to work anywhere in the country. So we've researched all the unclaimed property laws. And when you get involved, Part of the education we give you is all our research into each state, how it works, what the deadlines are, and all that. And you're also going to need legal and business agreements and forms. Now, I'm an attorney. I've been an attorney since 1995. Um, my focus is on real estate. And I've been doing this business since 2013. So I have all the legal business agreements and forms. I've drafted those for you. So when you get involved, you get 
all the forms that you need to do the business, you know, professionally drafted by an attorney in the business. So they're kind of, I would say, battle tested and proven. And we give you those when you get involved in Microsoft Word as well as PDF format. So you can, if you want to customize them, put your business logo on them, you're free to do that. Or if you just want to use the PDFs and I'm sure they print out perfectly, you can do that. So the point is though, I give you all of the forms that you need, all the research that you need, which is one of the big values and one of the reasons learning from an attorney is so valuable because you don't have to pay for all that work. And, you know, attorneys are super expensive. So it's, it's great that you just have that done for you. You know, I love that this is within your reach because you don't need money to invest. You know, this is not something where for each deal you're buying the claim or anything like that. You're just doing the work to recover the money for someone. So you don't need money to invest. You don't need to get a loan or any credit to do a deal. What you need is knowledge. You need to know and be shown how to find the lists, approach the people, and get the money. And that's my job, to teach you those things. And this is a great business because you help people and you make money. And you're quickly going to generate enormous profits, helping people who've just lost everything. When you lose your home to tax sale, you've lost everything. And it's really heartbreaking for people. But we come along, and you're going to come along, with money and hope and something they never expected. I was actually speaking to one of my clients earlier today who I just called with the good news. We, we got money for her and hers isn't even a large amount of money. She lost a piece of vacant land. It's a $17,000 we're getting to her. It's not a big deal, but she was saying to me, said, I'm so surprised and so happy. She's like, I just, I never thought I'd get anything out of this. I figured, you know, government sold my property so they would just keep my money. She said, thank you so much for doing this. She said, it's just such a windfall. And interestingly enough for her, she has a, a son that had a stroke. Very, very sad. He's a young, young man, too, in his 30s. He had a stroke, and she's going to use the $17,000 that she got to help him get some extra rehab and medical care that he needs and that isn't covered by insurance. And, you know, that's the kind of thing that we provide. And, you know, to feel or to think about, you know, we found her, we told her about the money, went and did the work. She didn't have to do anything. She gets this windfall, and for her... You think how meaningful that is. She can get extra help for her son who needs help learning how to walk again. And, you know, that's meaningful. And that's why I'm so passionate about this business. I mean, what we did today is going to help a young man learn how to walk again just because we did our job. And I think that's amazing. So it's super rewarding. It's psychically rewarding. It's financially rewarding. It's a really great business. And it's a classic. Maybe you've heard the saying, you know, doing well by doing good which is what we call this business. You know, it's a, a business where you do well yourself financially by doing good for others. And I think that to me is the dream business. And if that, if that resonates with you, then you're a good person to do this business. So frankly, if it doesn't resonate with you, if you don't care about helping people, I just assume that you didn't learn from me because I'm not, not really looking for people that are just, you know, greedy and trying to, you know, take things from people. I'm looking for good hearted people that say, yeah, this business really appeals to me because I can make money for myself and my family of my own financial needs. But it's this business because I get that extra goodie. I get to help people in a really substantial way. And, you know, we've taken people who are homeless and gotten to not be homeless anymore. You know, today the latest news was helping someone learn to walk again, which it's just, you know, it's really we're just super, super meaningful. Now you can do this all over the country. 46 states give the money back and four states, four stinker states as I call them, they don't give the money back. They sell your house and keep the change. And those states are New York, Wisconsin, Illinois, and Colorado. You know, I have no explanation to how they feel about this, but I will tell you that I do expect that to change in the future for the better. Um, there's actually a case going up to the US Supreme Court which is looking to force those states to get back the money. And I do expect that that's what, what's going to happen because there used to be five states in that list. Michigan used to be one of them. And Michigan Supreme Court looked at it and they said, no, no, you have to give this extra money back. So I do expect that we're going to see pretty soon all 50 states. But for now, you have 46 states to work in. If you live in New York or Wisconsin, Illinois or Colorado, don't worry about it. You're just going to work in, in other states. This business is all done by telephone, by internet, to some degree by mail when you mail in the claim. So you don't need to be in any particular state and you're also free to work all over the country. So it's pretty cool. And of course, some states are better than others. So we give you the best states, help you identify the ones that are the easiest to work in, you know, don't have you know, a bunch of rules or any registration requirements or anything like that. We've identified 18 states that we think are the best. Now there are other states that are workable that some people choose to work, but we have 18 that are just absolutely prime. So part of what we give you is that research and experience we have on what are the best states to do this in because that's always a question for people and 
you know, we've been doing this for almost 10 years now. So we have a lot of experience in all the different states. I can give you really great, you know, from the trenches intel on this. So we'll give you those best dates when you get involved and get this education. Let me give you an example because I know, you know, many people here probably have never been to a tax sale or seen a tax sale. So I'm just giving an example. I'll take out my handy PowerPoint pen so I can show you this. Let's see. I love the PowerPoint pen. Let's see. Okay. So this was a property that my partners and I were looking at to buy before the tax sale. So we're, we're talking to the owner. Owner was a landlord that had this property. The tenant had just stopped paying rent, had done a lot of damage to the property, had taken off the front door. He had a dog that he must never walk because the poor thing went to the bathroom all over the house, which, you know, poor dog, but this is the house with wood floors. So there's dog urine all over the place. It stunk to high heaven. He even took the toilets out when he left, which I guess just out of vindictiveness, he took the toilets. And the problem with that, it was a baby blue toilet and you can't get a matching set where the, the bathtub matched to the toilet and it was impossible to get exactly the same color. So, you know, that just means you had to replace the bathroom, basically the whole, the tiles and the tub and everything really unfortunate. So anyway, this landlord really wanted out of this property but, you know, housing prices have gone up and he looked at that. And so we tried to work out a deal with him. And, and what I was willing to do was I looked at this house worth about $200,000 retail. And, I, you know, I figured the renovation budget was about 30, 35,000, somewhere in there. And when you bid, this would be a fix and flip for us. When you, you bid to flip a property, you want to pay 65, maybe 70% of retail minus the cost to fix it up. So for a $200,000 house, if you're paying 70% of retail, that means you're paying $140,000 for the house. You have to deduct the repair costs. So 30, 35,000 brings you to 105 to 110,000 is what I could pay for this house. Not more, because once you pay more, you just don't have enough money to get the renovation done to account, you know, account for any renovation overruns, which you know is very common in renovation, holding costs and all that stuff, realtors expenses and resale, et cetera. So in any event, we could not work out a deal with him. He just wanted more money. And it turned out that in a way he was smart because at the tax sale, the bidders paid 150,000 for this property. Now I think they overpaid because it was a $200,000 house and it needed you know, 30, $35,000 worth of fix up. But then again, maybe they didn't see the property in the inside. They may have just driven by the outside it's, or maybe it was a owner occupant. So they looked at it and said, oh, you know, if I get this for you know, 50,000 under everything else in the neighborhood, I'll do the work myself. Could be anything like that. But anyway, that's what the bidding was at auction. And the taxes owed were, were $10,000. And obviously, to make this example easier for you to follow, I'm just rounding off the figures. I'm leaving off the dollars and pennies. But for rough figures, $10,000. What that means is because $150,000 was paid at tax sale and $10,000 is what's owed, there's $140,000 left over. And that's what we refer to as the overage or excess funds. So that's the money that's left over and due to the former property owners, 140,000. And, you know, for normal people, they assume, well, they took my house and they just sold it at tax sale, so I don't get anything. And that's what people normally think. Fortunately for them, that's not true. And fortunately for us as overages professional, we can fix that problem. So in this case, I was able to call the former owner and say, hey, you know, it's me again. And he wasn't feeling too happy at that point. And I said, you know, sorry about your house. I know it got sold at the tax sale, but what if I could still get you, you know, $100,000 for that house? And he said, what do you mean? Your house is lost. It's, and he was a little grumpy about it. And I said, no, I know, I know. But what if I could still get you $100,000? Do you want to do something? And he's like, yeah, absolutely, because I lost everything. So what I was able to do was go and get the overage, $140,000 overage, keep $40,000 as a fee, and give him the $100,000 which was approximately what I offered him the first time for the house. So he got $100,000 that he never expected to get. This kind of this little unexpected windfall for him. And I got $40,000. And you know what's funny about this? I actually made more money than the person bid on it at a tax sale. The one who bid on it at a tax sale and has a property they now have to fix up, rip out the wood floors, do all that. I don't have to do any of that. I just have a clean $40,000 for doing about eight hours worth of work. So... This is like house flipping profits without having to do all that work of actually flipping a house, you know, dealing with contractors and cost overruns and being over there all the time. You don't have to deal with any of that. It's really clean. You just make the money. And, you know, usually we make more money than the flipper. <laughs> but 
and it's a story for another day, but it's, it's kind of comical. So I really love this business. One of the reasons I love it, it really is big returns for a very small effort. So I want to show you some typical lists. I compiled the list I'm going to show you in under an hour. You know, assume a newer person might poke around a little bit. So under an hour for the list I'm going to show you. If you work a deal a month out of these lists, and I'll tell you, inflation and the economy, whatever happens, really won't matter to you. When you're making money in your own business, it doesn't matter. Because if you need more money, just do an extra deal. And in this business, the more deals you do, the more money you make, and there's literally millions of dollars available. So let's take a look at a couple lists. You're going to check this out. You're going to love it. So this is one list, and I, I screenshotted two pages out of 35. So you can see down here, there's this is page one of 35, and we can look at a couple of these. Um, here are the surpluses over here, $80,000 here, um, $115,000 here. And if you look, look, it's interesting. So in this $125,000 bid, look at the surplus, $115,000. That's one where about $10,000 was owed in taxes. You look at this one, winning bid, $86,500, surplus $80,000. That means about $6,000 was owed in taxes. And remember I, I said to you that, you know, sort of, Twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollar claims are, are a dime a dozen, and six figure claims are getting very common. Look at all the six figure claims, and just this one, this one page out of out of thirty five pages. And by the way, I didn't cherry pick these pages. I just screenshotted the first two pages because it was easy and quick. One hundred and fifteen thousand dollar overage here, one hundred and seventy five thousand dollar overage here, three hundred and twenty two thousand here, one hundred and forty thousand there, one hundred and sixteen thousand. If I just add the six figure overages, I got 115 plus 175, that's just under 300. Add that one, that's 600, that's 740. There's over $800,000 of overages just on the first page. And if we go to the second page, you know, if I want to get over a million, I just pick up this one, 252,000, another 287,000. So, you know, when I say that big overages are common. This gives you an idea of how common they are. This is just two pages, the first two pages out of a list of 35 pages. And the overages have substantially grown. If you talk to me, you know, we started the business in 2013. If you talk to me then, I would have been like, yeah, you know, 20, 30, $40,000 overages are pretty common. Those are kind of the, the core. That number's blown up because houses have gone up so much in value. And when houses go up in value, bidders pay more at the tax sale, and therefore there's a lot more money left over. And you know, back to my first point, like if you did a deal a month, you can make great money. Let's just say you start out small and you say, all right, here, I'm going to work on this $46,000 deal because it's not too intimidating. Well, the $46,000 deal, I'm going to get out my calculator to calculate this. So if I had a, a $46,000 deal times, and let's say you, you're going to be cheap at first, so you're going to charge 30%. That's $13,800 just on this deal. Or if you followed more what we do and you want to charge 40%, which that's what we charge and we don't really get resistance on it, that'd be $18,000. So this deal alone is worth $14,000 to $18,000 for you. How much different would your life be if you just did, not even, let's say you did one a quarter, one every three months. You make an extra you know, $14,000 to $18,000. And let's just, let's just to make it easy to talk about, let's call it 15,000. What if you made an extra $15,000 every quarter, there are four quarters in a year, that's $60,000 a year extra, just for doing a deal that takes you like eight hours once a quarter. Not to mention if you say, no, Bob, you know, I'm, I'm a brave man or woman, I'm going to go for the big ones, $115,000 over and I'm going to charge 40%. I think that's great. So let me just do that math. $46,000 for this one. What if you did one of that size per quarter? $46,000 a quarter times four quarters is about $180,000 extra per year. And you know, here's another list from a, a different, different jurisdiction. This one, each list is formatted a little differently. They're never hard to deal with, but this is the amount that's left over, which is in this column over here. You know, we could help out. Let's go help out Teresa Willis. I love her. Right here, owed $130,000. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention, do you see these sale dates on here? This happens to be a jurisdiction where it's five years before the money is cheats. This was more than a year ago that this happened. Teresa has no idea the money's out there because if she did, 
then she would have gotten it. Because I don't know about you, but if I rode $130,000, I would get down there right quick to get my money. And I don't think anything's going to happen to suddenly educate Teresa that she's owed or could claim a $130,000 refund. Nothing's going to happen unless you call them or I call them. Same thing with um, you know Gwendolyn Andrews. Look, that was from May of 2021. Or covert investment, $115,000 from June of 2021, more than a year ago. So again, you know this isn't anything where these people are going to find out about it. And again, I just pulled two pages out of this, two out of five. Beverly Blake from May of 21. Bradley White, $131,000. Look at all these big, like six-figure over, just even high five figures. And I'll show you one more. And this one, I, I just pulled five lids, and let's look at this one. So there's some small ones in here, you know, 5,000, 18,000, 33,000, but I'm sure Lenore would be really happy to get 33,000 back. And maybe that's one you do as one of your first ones, just to practice. You know, $33,000 claim, even at 30%, is $9,900. So for round figures, $10,000. At forty thousand, at forty percent, it's about twelve thousand dollars. And we got a forty-one thousand from Elijah Simpson. We've got forty-four thousand here with affordable homes, forty-three thousand with affordable homes. This is one where you could sign one claimant up. That's what we call people with the money. One claimant, and they're owed together eighty-seven thousand dollars for the two of them. Oh, there's a big one, Andrew. Andrew Altfest, 107000 And look at this. This money's been sitting there since, what, April. So, again, you know, these people are not going to find out about this money without you or me. It's just not common knowledge. So, plenty of good ones on here. It's 150000 from the Kim Lanier is owed. Pretty awesome. 70000 for OT6 LLC. And by the way, sometimes people ask me, you know, what, what are these LLCs? It just means that someone was trying to do some kind of a real estate deal, maybe develop a property, and it didn't work out. Maybe they needed a variance and they didn't get it. Maybe there's a partnership fight. Maybe their financing fell through. Something happened and the property got lost at tax sale. You don't need to be intimidated by talking to these folks because when you talk to them, it's just, these are mom and pop businesses. These are people that, it's like two guys with a hard hat in a pickup truck. It's not, it's not like you're dealing with, you know, McDonald's that lost a restaurant. That's not, what this is. These are people that tried to do something. It didn't work out. If they can get some money back, they're beyond tickled pink about it. They're absolutely thrilled. But back to the point of you, which because this is about you, think about being able to do, you know, just let's even take a small one. Fred and Irene Hines, $27,000 claim, which I would call small, basically. A $27,000 claim. Let's say that you did one of those a month. Let's say you just do one deal a month, really, you know, work this business, sign up one person a month, make one a month, so 27000 charge 40% like we do, that's $10,800. Doing one deal takes you about eight hours. You're talking about making $10,000. You understand why I said inflation doesn't matter. When you have your own healthy business like this, inflation doesn't matter. And by the way, I'm showing you three lists from three separate counties. There are 3,000 counties across America, which is, remember I said earlier, you know, people ask you, why don't you keep all this to yourself? There are 3,000 counties across America. And, you know, I'm showing you just three random samples and three random counties. So I can give you an idea of how big the number of leads are. And these monies are all forfeiting. Because if you don't catch them within the, the deadline, they forfeit. Now, people ask me with the deadlines, you know, it goes state by state. So we have the research that tells you in each state how long the, the refund period is until the money forfeits, typically three years. This state I showed you was five years. The state for us, this, this one was a five-year state. This one's a three-year state. Uh, this one is a year and a half. So, you know, I've got all kinds of different, different time periods. Typically, it's three years. But, you know, when you get involved, I'll give you that research. You don't worry about it. So let's continue on over here because i got lots more that I want to talk to you about and want to teach you about. And as much as I'd love to spend all day on the list, we cannot do that. And speaking of time, I know that you might be like me, a, a quick decider, or you may have seen enough saying, yes, I'm in. I really want to do this. I want to help people make a bunch of money and you know, make the recession inflation not matter to me. So if you're ready to go and you, you know, can't stay for the entire presentation or you're simply ready to go, you can go to startovergusttoday.com on the web. 
or you can dial toll-free into our office at 877-715-4342. You can talk to an actual live human. And we do have people manning those phones 24 hours a day. So whenever you're seeing this, you can work it, whether it's a weekend, an evening, early morning, whatever. And when you go to startoverjusttoday.com, it'll give you a list of everything that's included. And just the simple short thing to that is everything that you need is included to understand the business, all the forms you need, all the research you need to get going. And as a special bonus, there's live training we're going to be doing by webinar when you get involved during this presentation. So for everybody gets involved in this presentation, whether it's right now or whether at the end of the presentation, because I still have more I want to talk about. So don't run off. I still have lots more to show you. But for people that can't stay or just say, hey, I'm, I'm ready to go, you'll get special three live training sessions that are done by webinar starts Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And you'll get there and answer your questions. All Anyway, I don't want to spend a lot more time on this. Where I can fit it in, I'll put the the order link and toll-free number on slides coming up. So, you know, whenever you decide, yes, I'm in on this, you can, you can get involved with it. I think this is really perfect for today because tax foreclosures are increasing in number. And, you know, I can also tell you that with the economic storm that is, you could argue it's here or coming, that's only going to go up. And that's really sad. I don't find joy in that. I think it's a shame. Um, but that is the fact that people are going to have a really tough time. You know, you look at cost of food, the cost of gasoline, the cost of just basic necessities. You know, somebody told me yesterday that that people are using credit cards just for basic necessities like food. And that's not good because you run out of credit cards after a while. So we're going to see more people not able to keep up with their taxes, more people not able to bail their house out at the, at the last minute. So tax foreclosures are definitely increasing in number. And also, since housing prices have gone up, the, the overages are much bigger. You, know, you can see those six-figure overages. And the people who lose their homes, especially those people, they desperately need money. They want your call. They want to know that there's money they can get because they really need the money. So you're going to be in a position to help those people that really need help and make a lot of money for yourself and your family. And again, that's that doing well and doing good. And I think the person that really that resonates, if that resonates with you, to help people and make a lot of money, then this is your business. You need to do this. And if it doesn't resonate with you, frankly, I'd rather you just you know disconnect it now and didn't sign up because that's not my that's not my tribe. My tribe are people that want to help other people and are comfortable making a lot of money themselves and really want to have a great, robust financial life, but they also truly want to help people. And I think this is the ideal business. You know, you do well by doing good, you help people who've lost everything and make a great living. I think simply said, perfect combination. And, you know, as I said, the profitability is growing because according to the U.S. Federal Reserve, housing prices have increased by approximately $200,000 over the past two years. And I say approximately because there's, you know, some dollars and cents involved, but basically $200,000 over the past two years. It was slightly over that, but just for easy figure to discuss. Average home price now over $400,000. And just simply said, higher home values just equals larger overages because bidders at tax sales are bidding a percentage of the retail price minus their fix-up cost. And when the retail price goes up by $200,000, what people bid goes up by you know a lot. That's why you see all those six-figure claims that you wouldn't have seen two years ago, but now you do see them. And without you, I also tell you, the claimant is likely and almost certain to lose their funds. The claimants are not aware of the funds. We, we just did, I'll just give you an example. We just did a claim in a small county that had a very small tax sale. They sold a dozen properties at their most recent tax sale. And in that place, there's two years to claim the funds. And so we found two of the former owners. We contacted them. We signed them up. And we got the money for them. This week was the final week for people to claim their money. And no one else claimed their money. So out of eight owners, the only two that claim money were the two that we found. And unfortunately, I think that's typical. You know, unless you or I go out and find them and make them aware of it and help them out, they're not going to get the money. It's, I would say it's nearly impossible for someone who's untrained and certainly unaware to find out about the funds without you because they're not even looking to start with. And, and secondly, it takes a little training to find these lists. And it's, it's not something you can't Google search your name and have the money come up. That's not the way it works. Google does not index the list that way. So you, you can't Google your name and find things. It's not on any of the state treasurer's websites like you see 
you know, lost money in Connecticut or whatever, they're not on those sites because the money's held locally. It's not held at the state level. So it's really one of those things that unless you or I, you know, go and find them, tap them on the shoulder and tell them the good news, they're not going to get their money. So it's really meaningful work and important to do. There's also not much competition. Yeah, you, know, you might think there would be, but it's just an obscure little corner of the, the world of investing in money. So there's not much competition. And investors who buy a tax sale, they're not thinking about what happens to money generated from tax auctions. That's not their concern. They're concerned about, oh, I got a property. Let me call up my locksmith. Let me call my insurance broker. Let me go over and see the house and make sure that it's locked up. If there's anybody there, let me talk to them. That's what they're worried about. They're not wondering, oh, the, the county just sold properties today and they they sold for you know $5 million worth of properties. I wonder what they do with that money. They're not thinking about that. They're thinking about their own investing business. And this is very much a, just a little known niche that's really too expensive for like a do-it-yourselfer to put together. You know, for us to do this, we had to do research in all 50 states. And of course, you found out there are four that you can't do it in at all. But the other 46 states, it took us about 10 hours of legal research per state to figure out all the requirements the requirements for contracts, the requirements to make claims, the deadlines to, to make claims. You don't want to miss that, where the lists are held and all that. So we did all that. And I can tell you, I had to pay a lot of outside attorneys to do the research because I'm, I'm licensed in Pennsylvania. And so I, I used local attorneys in each state to do, you know, to do the research to make sure it was all right. And you know, I'm paying these guys $300 an hour for like eight to 10 hours worth of research. It is expensive, really expensive. So it's not the kind of thing that like a do-it-yourselfers and say, oh, I've heard of that. Let me go figure it out. I mean, I guess they could, but why bother? Because you can get our course for less than the cost of, of researching one state and to get something that's sort of battle proven and, and tested. So anyway, we'll go more into that a little bit later, but this is not the kind of thing a do-it-yourselfer is going to do. Um, this is the kind of thing that if you do it, you're going to just you know get a course from us and, and launch yourself and go start making money. And that's what you're going to do. And it's you know not expensive. A lot of people also ask me, what about mortgages? I would tell you a couple things. First of all, most properties sold at tax sale are free and clear. And the reason for that is that mortgages get stripped away from the property, meaning they're no longer a lien on the real estate after a tax sale. And because of that, mortgage companies do not want the property to get sold at a tax sale because they'll no longer have a mortgage lien on the property. And you know, legally speaking, it's the taxes are called a priming lien. And what that means, they get ahead in a prime position they get ahead of mortgages. So mortgage companies make sure the taxes are paid. So when it gets to tax sale, probably there was no mortgage on it. Otherwise, they would, the mortgage company would have paid the taxes just to avoid losing their lien. And for the few that there are mortgages on, pretty easy to avoid them. We show you how to do that. Not too hard. But even then, what I would tell you, just in my experience, it's just not worth worrying about the mortgages because in the times when they pop up, you can deal with them. And often you end up with half the money anyway. You kind of split it with a mortgage company for things that are way more involved than I can get into on this presentation, but we do explain in the training. But bottom line is that you don't want to stress out over mortgages. Are they going to show up sometimes and ruin your deal? Yes, they absolutely will. So the way you want to treat this business, this is a pipeline business. You load your deals into the pipeline. Some are going to fall out. And don't worry about it. Just keep loading them in the pipeline. And, you know, in all businesses, you have sort of waste and it's not like everybody that walks into your store or buys something or not like every, every estimate that a contractor, you know, gives results in him getting the work or her getting the work. That's not the way it is. So this business is like any other, there are deals that are going to fall through. The good news is, you know, you've probably spent with most deals less than a hundred dollars, you know, getting the contract done, getting some documents notarized and all. So it's not expensive and not terribly time consuming. So the worst thing that happens to you, you spent you know, $100 and six or seven or eight hours worth of your time and the deal fell through. Don't worry about it because the deals that go through are going to make you 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 and more. So it's nothing to stress out about. And I would say most of the time mortgage is no issue, but certainly it's never anything to really worry about. Because again, no business is 100% efficient. So neither is this one. So anyway, onward and upward. So let's talk about your new business. So step one in your business is you need to figure out who's owed money. So to do that, you need a targeted list of exactly who's owed the money. Now, as an attorney who's been doing this for about 10 years, I know how to do this. I'll show you how to get the lists. You don't need to, to worry about it. They're easy to get. Like I said, the three lists that I showed you, this one, 
this one and this one realistically took me 15 minutes to get the three of them. And for you, even if you're brand new, you're going to study the the 10 or 12 pages we have on list getting training. And you know, you'll spend an hour and you'll get three lists like that. It's pretty, pretty simple. And if you get stuck, you can always reach out to our support and we'll help you out with it. But anyway, so step one, list of getting money. That's number one. And these are public record lists, by the way. They're not secret lists. They're not something, oh, you have to be an attorney to get. These are public record. So no problem to get them. So step one, find out who's owed the money. Get the list. Secondly, you have to locate the former owner because they've moved. They lost their house of tax sale, so they moved. And you are working with the former owner, so we need their cooperation. So we're going to show you how to find those former owners who, who owed the money right online. Really simple. This used to be, when we started the business, it was much harder to do. That was before like the world's biggest businesses like Google and Facebook, etc., became just big data gathering vacuums where they know everything about everybody. And it's gotten really easy to find people. So for the majority of people, you can get good contact information just with some quick internet searches on the right websites. We show you how to do that. We go in depth with it very fast, typically 15 minutes on the internet, not expensive, really simple. Um, we have one service that's that we refer people to. It's like $15 a month. You sign up in a six month increment. So it's about $90 for a six month sign up and you get unlimited searches. You could do 10,000 searches if you wanted to. So it's really quick. And again, not expensive. This is not an expensive business to run like that. If you spent you know, $90 for six months worth of searching, like that gets you all the searching you would need. So again, not an expensive business to, to do. And we train you how to do it, You know exactly what to look at to figure out if you got the right person or not. And we just make it easy for you because we were giving you, you know, our 10 years worth of experience in this, which is really great. So step one, you got the list. We'll show you how to do that. Step two, you're gonna locate the former owner. Then step three is really where the magic happens. That's getting the owner to work with you. Because I have people that often ask me, you know, well, this sounds like so good. Like, what's the catch? This sounds too good to be true. What is the catch? The catch is the work is talking to the former owner and getting them to understand this is not a scam or a swindle. Because we all get those phone, I get them, I'm sure you get them. You get those calls every day where it's just some unsolicited call that comes into your phone. Someone wants to sell you, you know, like insurance or, or an extended warranty on your car or some junk, totally unsolicited. And, you know, you just don't know, people are trying to steal your identity and all that. So skepticism is our enemy. And that's really where the challenge is, is getting people to understand that you have a real business you're really looking to help them and that you really can help them. So we're going to be contacting, you'll be contacting by phone, by internet messages, which can be email, can be Facebook messages, LinkedIn messages. So that's why I just generically say internet messages and US mail. And, you know, we make a combination of those things. But most importantly, you got to have the right messaging because you got to get out of the the bucket of, oh, this is a scammer calling me because you know you're not. I mean, you're calling people with great news that they're owed tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of dollars that can completely change their life. So you do need the right message. You do need the right words to say, um, the, the magic words that make it work. And so we give you a call script to help you out with that and help you get people to be excited to work with you. And I would say that this is the kind of thing that works really well for nice people. This is not something where we're pushing people into things. This is something where we, we treat them gently. And if you want to think about it in the visual, and I'm a visual thinker, so I'll give you a visual on it. This person is like, you know, imagine one day you walk out on your back deck or back porch or backyard and it's raining and cold. It's like a November day, raining, cold, nasty. And you see this cat that's all wet, meowing, meow, meow, under a shrub, just miserable, miserable. And looking skinny, really, it looks like it hasn't eaten properly in weeks. And you look and say, oh my gosh, that poor little animal. Let me get it something to eat. So let's say that you, you know, go back inside your house and you get a can of tuna fish that you happen to have and you put it, you know, open it up, put it on a plate and you walk out there. Now, if you ran over to where the cat is, the cat would run away as fast as, as smoke disappears, be gone because it would be afraid. So what you need to do is just put the food down and walk back inside the house, close the door. And if you want to peek out through the curtains, you can, but what you would see after that food is left and your door is closed, that that cat looks around and says, oh, they're gone. Scary big person's gone. I don't see any dogs around here. Or right, let me go. I'm so hungry. Let me, and the cat would 
cautiously go over there and when it got to the food, just gobble it like a little animal, just rah, 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 as quick as it could. Now, if you ran out there and said, oh, I want a pet kitty, let me dry you off, the cat would run away because it's not ready for that yet. And the people that have lost their house at tax sale are like those cats out on a cold November day in the rain. They've really, you know, they're really hurting and they really need someone to help them, but you can't just rush out there and you know, wrap them up in a towel and dry them off or anything. You just can't. You have to put down the food and then go back inside. Now, if you go out the next day, regardless of whether it's raining or not, you go out the next day, where's that cat going to be? You know that cat's going to be watching to see if that door opens for the magical person to come out with the food again. You know that. So if you walked out there and put the food down and went back inside, within minutes you'd see that cat appear out of seemingly nowhere to eat again. And if you did that every day for, say, a week, by the end of the week, the cat would be sitting on your deck or porch waiting for you. And it might rub against your legs. You'd probably scratch it behind the ears a little bit. And if you do that for two weeks, you know, you could open your door and the cat would just come in your kitchen and probably hang out with you. And it'd be your cat, whether you like it or not. That's what our people are like. We have to spend time talking to them. It's going to be conversations taking place over several days. It's going to be emails. It might be a letter that you send to them, a little handwritten note. Hey, it was nice talking to you. We show you how to do that combination. But what I want to get across to you, it's important for right now, it just know you don't have to be like the world's greatest salesperson. You do have to have the courage to call a stranger, a human who's, who's hurting and really needs your help. You have to have the courage to call them. And if you have that, then you can do well in this business. I'll also tell you that if you're not going to do that, if you're not going to call anybody, then this business is not for you because this is a business that generates its, your customers from calling them. You're going to use the mail and internet messages in conjunction with it, but nobody's signing up like over text message or forgetting an email. That's used in conjunction with talking to humans. So when you think about whether this business is right for you, think about, am I willing to call people on the phone? And you know, if you're not willing, then do you have a partner or someone else that would be that says, oh yeah, I love calling people. And that would be great too, but someone needs to do it because if you don't do it, then you'll get no business. So anyway, right messaging, we give you that. It's very important. And that is where the catch is in the business. Because again, people ask me, well, it sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? The catch is we have a bunch of stray, wet, half-starved cats out there and we got to build trust with them. And it takes some patience, it takes some time, and it certainly takes the right words. And that's where the magic is. And also, you have to secure your fee. I mean, I love my people. We call them claimants, the people claiming the money. But you do need to have a written agreement. You have to. So as an attorney and an overages practitioner, I've written the agreements that secure your fee. And when you get involved, I will give you the contracts to lock down the deal. We also structure it so that the money passes through you and your account. So you're going to receive the money. You'll deposit it into a business account, business checking account. It'll clear and then you'll send them their portion. So that's ensuring that you get paid. So it needs to be structured properly. I've been in this business for about 10 years, so everything's battle tested, to put it mildly. Everything that can happen has happened to us three times. We have that part really dialed in, and this course is worth the cost of admission just for that. Even if you knew how to do overages, it'd be worth it just for that. It's, they're really the best out there, and they work like a charm. I'll also give you a little insider secret. You don't have to go meet owners. There are papers that need to get signed, but... We have locals that will go out and meet the claimant for you, get the paper signed, and overnight them to you. Now, let me be clear. These are not people to do the sales work. These are people to do the mechanical work of getting the documents signed. We'll show you how to get those same folks to work for you. They're independent contractors that will work for us. Typically, they charge about $65 to go out and do a signing. What this allows is that you can work from home. You can work the best areas. So let's say you're in a rural area without many people around. Well, that's not going to be the greatest. You're not going to have a lot of local deals just because you need houses to do deals or, or parcels of real estate that get lost at tax sale. So this lets you work the best areas with the biggest overages. You can just look at our recommended state list and work the best of those. So it lets you work those best areas, have a great lifestyle and a great business. You know, you can travel. You can do this from the road. I have two homes. I have one home in Puerto Rico. They're beautiful palm trees and, and sunshine. It's wonderful. And I have another home in New York. And I travel back and forth between the two of them. And it doesn't matter where I am. It's, as long as I have my cell phone with me, I'm in business and internet connection. I'm good. And you can be too. So you can, if you want to go to the beach during the summer or go to the mountains during the winter or during the summer, whatever, you can do that. 
It's really not an issue. It's wonderful. And one thing that's nice about these days is if someone hears a dog barking in the background or a kid or something, they're not flustered by it because so many people work from home that that's no longer become a problem. And, you know, as an attorney, I was getting very stressed out during COVID when I had to work from home and we'd have hearings and things that we're attending by Zoom and I had the dog barking or I have a, a, a son who's six and a, a baby who's five months old. When my son, during the COVID times, when my son would be making noise, you know, it was mortifying as an attorney. But now as time has gone by, it's just part of our background. We all have that happen. We have spouses walk through and walk through the camera. You know, I had that happen during hearings. And it's just, you know, it's good. So you don't need to get a separate office or anything like this. And you certainly need to do a meet owners. So let's talk about the process because I know I, I gave a lot of details. So let me just go through the process quickly so you don't miss it. Very simple. You're going to get the list of people owed money. We share how to do that quick and easy over the internet. Second, you're going to locate those people online. Again, very simple, probably 15 minutes per person and you'll do the majority of them you'll find. Um, we give you the training in that so it's easy. Contact them with our message. You're going to be using the phone, email, text messages all combined to a really powerful system. You're going to send the service out for $65, go get the paperwork signed. And then our favorite part, you get paid and the people get their money. It's a really, really simple five-step process. Get the list, locate the people, contact them, send the service out to get the paperwork signed and get paid. It's really an amazing business. It's very simple. This is not designing the next microchip. This is a, a simple, straightforward business. Low investment to get involved, and I'll talk about that shortly, and fast payouts. Typical deal pays out in about four months. It moves at the speed of bureaucracy. Sometimes they're faster. Every once in a while, we get one in a month or two. Sometimes they're a little slower. You know, sometimes it takes six or seven months. That's not the typical. Typical is four months or so. So, you know, it's pretty quick. And what you want to do is just, again, put the deals in the pipeline. Like if you put one deal a month in the pipeline, on average, you're going to get a deal out per month on the other end. So starting four months from now, you start getting your first check. So it's pretty, pretty easy and pretty fast. And I know four months may sound like a long time, but it's not. It's not. When you get involved in this business, you're going to get excited. You're going to start getting your first deals and, and contract. And you'll have tens of thousands of dollars just marching on its way to you. And it really is, is pretty exciting. It's perfect for today's market. And for a couple of reasons. First, we're hitting a time when tax sales are about to take off. And there are already millions of dollars sitting in there in the accounts. It's not millions. There are hundreds of millions sitting right this second. I mean, I showed you when you looked at the list. And you look at these lists. Look at these just on the first page. 80,000, 115,000, 89,000, 175, 85, 91, 322. Crazy. Crazy. So, you know, the money is there. And it's also one that's only going to continue with the economy downturning. This is only going to get worse, economically speaking, and people who are losing houses at tax sale, more of them are going to lose them. It's tougher. And it's completely work at home. No need to leave your home or your office to do this. No need to rent an office to do this because you're all doing everything remotely. So it really keeps your overhead down, keeps your startup costs down. And also, if you're doing this as a side gig, you can do this right from the comfort of your home. I had two people I was talking to earlier this week, and they're getting started and they moved to a rural place and they said, our internet's not working yet. So we just went to the library to get the internet and we're making calls from our car in the, in the parking lot for the library. I was like, you guys get my award for creative thinking and will not be defeated. I loved it because they're there literally in their car making calls. That's something you're doing as a side gig. You know, you can do it during lunchtime. You go out to the parking lot and make calls. There's really no excuse for this. Really easy. I want to show you some examples of, of things that, that people are doing, things our students are doing. And the first thing I'm going to show you, I just have to say, is one of my most amazing students that I really, really admire. And I just want to tell you the story because it's a pretty, pretty amazing guy. His name's Melosi. And Melosi actually came to see me individually. I was actually out in Las Vegas speaking at a conference, and he flew all the way from Hawaii just to meet me, which yeah, I was very flattered that he would do that. And so he catches me in the hall and says, Bob, Mr. Diamond, Mr. Diamond. I said, yeah. And he said, I just want to talk to you for a second. I'm one of your students. I said, oh, great. You know, tell me about what you're saying. And he shows me this check that he has, this overages check, $356,000, which, of course, these days, that's, you know, within the realm of, I don't want to say common, that's, that's out there. 
And so he said, I got this and I just wanted to personally come here and thank you. And I said, you flew from Hawaii to thank me? He said, yes. He said, you have completely changed my life and my family's life. And I said, wow, is this your first deal? And he said, no, it's my fifth deal. And I said, so what are you making on this thing? And he said, his portion, $124,000 on this. And I said, that is amazing. That's fantastic. What a, what a game changer. Because think about it. If you're getting $124,000 profit, what would that mean in your life right now? Like it's amazing, right? So I said, well, you said this is your fifth deal. Like, what were your other ones like? He said, well, I decided I'm going to go big. So he said, I'm working all six-figure claims. He said, the first claim that I got in, he said, I just paid off all my credit cards. He said, just one swoop. I paid them all off. He said, I was so happy. Such a great feeling. And imagine your feeling when you pay off all your credit cards in one sweep. You just pay them all off. How amazing that would feel. And what a weight would be off your shoulders. And I said, that's cool. So what'd you do with the second deal? He said, the second deal, I put money in the bank. He said, I just wanted to have that security and feeling. He said, I actually did that with the second and third deal. He said, I just put money in the bank. He said, I also bought some gold and and some silver because I'm a believer in that. I said, that's great. That's amazing. And so he said, it's just such a feeling just of just relief. He said, I just want to thank you just for that feeling that I have. And then he kind of paused and I said, well, what about the fourth deal? I said, "I, I know there's something here. And he's almost a little meek about it. But what he did, again, this is why I love Melissa so much. He bought his daughter a home with the profits on his fourth deal. And he bought this house free and clear for his daughter. And, you know, his daughter, you know, got recently married, has a little baby, a little cutie pie, a little guy there. And he wanted her to have a free and clear house to get started her life with. Can you imagine... This young couple, I would guess, I didn't ask him, but I'm guessing late 20s, maybe very early 30s, they're starting off life with a free and clear house. And for most people, they work for decades to pay off their house. And that's a lot of pressure. And imagine they're going into this recessionary time and difficult time, but their house is paid off. I think about that, how much easier, how much less stress there is in that household and how much better that little guy's life is going to be with two parents that aren't stressed out. And imagine if you do that, imagine doing something huge like that for the people that you love and care about. You know, I, I have a lot of our students that you know, talk to me about, they want to give a legacy to their family. Maybe they're going to do this business with their family. They're going to, you know, give them the opportunity to earn their own way in the world, have a great business. There are a lot of people that do that. There are people that just maybe want to do something directly. That's just amazing. Imagine just even just taking your existing like children, if they had a mortgage, just paying it off or even taking one deal and paying it down substantially. Because let's face it, you could take one of these deals, say in this $80,000 deal that you have. Imagine doing that $80,000 deal and you take your 40%, which is $32,000. Imagine just making a $32,000 reduction in principle as a birthday present for your son or daughter. Imagine that. They would be speechless. I can promise you. Or maybe you're going to do a couple of these deals, do a couple of these deals, do this 80, this 85, this 91. So between the three of those, that's what, about $270,000. Your fee at 40% on that would be about 100000 Maybe you're going to nearly pay off their mortgage with that. Just imagine, you know, the motivation you could, you could have. And of course, not to mention paying off your own mortgage, by the way, <laughs> paying off your own mortgage. So anyway, I love Melosi because of what he did. And I'd love for maybe you out there to do amazing things for your family or for the causes you care about. You know, there are people who, and and some of you out there that care deeply about causes and imagine being able to make really substantial contributions. I have one friend of mine, it's not over its business story. It's a friend of mine who sold his business and made a ton of money. He made a million dollar charitable contribution. I was talking to him about it after he sold his property. He said, you know, I always had a dream that I could donate a million dollars all at once to something. He said, I just did it. He said, I, I can't believe I reached that milestone in my life. And I was like, dude, that is so cool. So imagine being able to contribute substantially to causes that you care about. And that's what this can be. And, you know, some of my students, and I would say all of my students pretty much, we all do freebies every once in a while, meaning claims where we don't charge people. Lawyers have really something fancy to say. We call it pro bono work, but you can just call it freebies. So this was one where I get this picture and a picture of the check in the mail from one of my students, and um, I got the story with it. And I looked at the, the person in the picture, and she's elderly. She's in her 90s, actually. I looked at her. You can see, I don't know if you can see it well on your screen, but her, 
knuckles are all swollen up. I don't know if it's rheumatoid arthritis or whatever. But anyway, knuckles are swollen up. You can see she's older, but look, she's so adorable. She put a hat on for the picture. They're really pretty cool. So anyway, that check's a $25,000 check. And the story behind it is what's so amazing. So you notice there's a Walmart sign in the back, right? This is a homeless widow who is living in her truck in the Walmart parking lot because she lost, she was living in a trailer. So she lost her trailer to tax sale and she ended up homeless. And thank heaven for cell phones because our student was able to track her down through her cell phone, give her a call. And it was a $25,000 claim, not a big claim, obviously, not a huge claim. Our student just gave the homeless widow the entire check, just gave her the whole $25,000. And that got her back into housing, back into you know not living in the Walmart parking lot, which no 90-something widow should be living in the Walmart parking lot. That's just heartbreaking. So maybe that'll be some of your stories because you are going to run into people that you just feel compelled to you know, do something extra for them. And it's fine. You don't have to do anything free. You'll know when you feel like doing it. And I would say when you're making a lot of money, have a lot coming through your business, you know, the fee on that $25,000 claim would have been, what about $10,000 at 40%. When you're making a lot of money, you know, if you're making $10,000, you know, twice a month or three times or four times a month, to give up that doesn't really matter. It's not that substantial in your life because you're making, let's say even if you're making 10,000 a month, that's 120,000 a year. If you gifted 10,000, you'd make 110,000 that year in this business. So it's really not, it's, it's something you can do. Let me put it that way, it's something achievable. And imagine how you're gonna feel when that's a story that you have, You know, whatever your equivalent is of this. And we've helped people get eye operations to restore their sight. That was a woman that she, I called her up to say, hey, we got your money, really excited. And again, this wasn't even a big claim, it was a $22,000 claim. Um, her name is Patty. And I said, so Patty, you know, I'm really excited. It looks, I think her share was about 17,000 because we were not charging a lot for that, that one. And I said, I'm gonna send you the check. I just wanna verify your address. And I just offhand said, oh, what are you gonna do with the money? And she said, I can finally get the operation. So of course, then I was curious. I'm like, the operation, what? It sounds like a soap opera. I didn't say that part, but I'd thought of it that way. And she said, oh, she said, um, I have cataracts. And she said, they're so bad that I can't drive. I can't read. I, I wasn't able to do my work. I was a bookkeeper and I couldn't do that anymore. And she said, it's just horrible. She said, I can't do anything. And I said, oh my gosh, that's horrible. And I said, well, why didn't you get the, the operation? And she said, well, I don't have medical insurance. And she said, the doctor said it would be $20,000 to get the operation and I don't have $20,000. And I thought to myself, now I've had, I was early, I had cataracts. I had cataracts. I know that my insurance company paid like $2,000 an eye for me to get them done. So I was like, that's such scoundrels. You know, they charge 20,000 to someone with no insurance and they charge 2,000 an eye for me, so 4,000. And I said, it's really criminal to charge five times as much to someone who doesn't have insurance. But anyway, it's a story for another day. So. I thought about it. I thought, oh, wait a minute. If we give her 17000 she doesn't have enough money for the operation. And so I said, oh, that's something. I said, so, you know, you're going to get about 17000 from us. How are you set for the extra money? She said, well, I don't have it, but hopefully something will happen and maybe I'll borrow it or something. And I, I, you know, hung up the phone feeling a little bit sad because I was like, I really wish she had just a little bit more money. And my brother and I run this business together. So I spoke to my brother. His name is Ed and talked about it. And I said, what do you think about just like giving her all the money we got? It's 22,000. Why don't we just do that? That way she'll have the money for the operation plus a little bit, you know, give her something. And he said, absolutely. Yes. And so what we did for her was just center the whole check and she could get the operation. So it just, you're going to have amazing stories from people and all these people have had hardship. Remember that. So we're in the midst of hardship because they just lost their house at tax sale. So you come along and change your life in a really significant way. And if that appeals to you, then this is business you just have to do. And I know, you know, I've been talking a lot. Let me just share with you what some of our students have to say. We have, um, we have a, a woman that does podcasts and she interviewed some of our students. So I just want to share with you some of what our students have to say. So here's some of them and I'll just let them speak for themselves, telling you about this business, their experience and all that. These are amazing people who are just doing wonderful things. So I just want to share this with you and you can listen and, uh, and draw your own conclusions. I think they're wonderful people doing great things. We did $3 million. 
That's an impressive number. Thank you. Very impressive. When you were going to start the Overages business, how did your friends and family react when you told them? Uh, Probably they were thinking, oh, here she goes again, another thing. (laughs) (laughs) But, you know, I really did believe Bob is such a down-to-earth teacher that I really couldn't see the downside to it. You don't have to spend a ton of money to get into it. Most other businesses, you have to spend a lot of money up front. This was low investment. It's really an investment of you and your time. It's a honest, good, good program. If you follow what Bob and Ed Diamond tell you to do, you will have a successful business. If you do it diligently, you will have a successful business. But it's like every other business. What you put in is what you get out. Honestly, I think what I liked the best about the overages was um, something that Bob talks about a little bit, but... For me, I didn't think it was going to be as big of a sticking point. Um, but I'll tell you, the biggest thing that I like about it is is really actually helping people. Realistically, most of the people you're going to deal with in this business have literally just gone through the worst situation probably of their life. They lost their home due to one reason or another, or maybe lost a family member and then they lost a family property. But working the overages, we've met so many great people that we've had the availability to help, that it's been, it's been outstanding. We've had so many good thank yous. We've had so much praise on our end, which we didn't do it for the praise. But once you start to receive it, you realize that there's all these people out there that really do need your help. And the money has been not only life-changing in our life, but the money has been life-changing for a lot of our, our clients as well. We've met a lot of really good people that maybe just had a bad situation. And we were so thankful that we could actually help them out. The, how many deals I've done is probably in the 50 to 60 range. It's becoming very consistent, very predictable, and we are growing daily. Do you know how much you've collected so far or an estimated amount? So total, um, what we've collected on overages so far, we've roughly done $1.5 million in collections for our clients. So what can you do now that you're making more money in this business that you couldn't do before? What I'm doing now and what the business has given me the opportunity to do, it's really given me freedom. I never had the freedom before. I was leaving the house at 6 a.m., 5.50 in the morning, not getting home until 6.30 at night. But this business has given me the freedom uh, to be here with my family. Um, We have a large family. We have five kids. Actually, well, five kids in a couple of days. But having the opportunity to be here for your family and to be free of having someone over you, you know, you don't realize how tied down you are until you get free. And then, you know, you really understand it. But yeah, it's given us the ability to travel. We can work anywhere, um, which is amazing really just the freedom. Um, We are currently in the process. We're transitioning from an old house to a new one. We're um, in the process, the beginning steps of building our dream home right now. So aren't those some wonderful people doing amazing things? And can you see yourself being next person to be interviewed? I can. So I want you to think about what can your life be like if you take this on? And I think, you know, to me right now, a lot of what life is about is financial security. Because there's just too much of this, inflation and terrible economic news, world's headed for a recession, just everything is, is falling down. So I think right now, a lot of life is just about having money in the bank and certainly having steady income that you control. You know, not money where an employer controls it, not money where, you know, it's, if inflation is 8.6%, you essentially need an 8.6% raise to even stay even. And employers are not necessarily doing that. So I think right now for a lot of people, maybe for you, it's just about security of having income, being able to cover the cost of, you know, the increased cost of everything from gas to to rice and beans and meat and everything else and heating your house and and all that. So I think life's about like that. And I think this can do that for you. This can, this can put that, that foundation under you. That's, that's security. So that bad economic news will not matter in your life. And what I'd like this business to do for you it's just to make your life a little more relaxing and easy. So, you know, just sort of as a mental picture, 
just imagine the feeling of relaxation if you're just swinging on a hammock under, under a beautiful palm tree. And that's the feeling I'd like you to have because you have money in the bank and you have money coming in and you're helping people. And it's really a great feeling to be helping people in such substantial ways and being financially in good shape yourself. So here's how you're going to get started immediately. Get the course. It typically takes three to four hours for people to go through the training. We're going to show you the best areas to target, how to get the records, find the people and request the money. Literally, you can get involved this month and it's very reasonable to get your first overage or overages under contract next month. This is not wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You know, expect it, you know, take you a couple of weeks to learn the materials, start calling people, talk to them a couple of times, et cetera. But it's reasonable if you're diligent and you work at it. This is not for people that aren't going to do anything, but if you're going to actually do something with it, it's reasonable to get involved this month and get some overages under contract next month. It's a very low startup cost. You know, I know I referenced costs a little bit earlier, but didn't go into it in detail. Your investment in this is $1,497. So it's $1,497. You can think of that, you know, how long would it take me or how easy would it be to get my money back just from one deal? You know, it's free after you recover like the world's tiniest overage of less than $5,000. And if you did $5,000 at 30%, that's $1,500 right there that you'd have $3 left over. So like I'm saying, it's, and again, if we look at the list, it's hard to find a $5,000 overage. I mean, I'm sure there's one here. You could just do this one, help, help out on this $7,000 owed or now, can we find a tiny $5,000 one? Um, uh, here we go. Grace Heights Limited. Thank you. $5,320. Just do that one. And, you know, 30% even, you have your $1,500 pack. So anyway, point being, very, very easy to make this pay off for you. And you're going to get everything you need to do this business. You're going to get a written quick start and comprehensive guide plus online videos and forms. So if you like to learn by video, watch the videos. If you like to read, read. If you like to do some of both, do both. We give you both sets of materials. We're going to give you all the best states to do this in, all the rules in all the states, so you can do it wherever you want to, and all the legal forms, the scripts, and the resources, because you know that's my part. I'm an attorney. I've been doing this business for almost 10 years now, so we have a dialed in. And we share, you know, all the stuff we currently use in the business. And by the way, I'm, I'm where I can fit it. I'm putting the order link in here. Start over just today.com or our toll free number. Again, just a reminder, we have people manning the phones 24 hours a day. So if you want to call and ask a question or call an order that way, please dial the toll free number, the 877 number, which is toll free, or just go to start over just today.com. On that website, there's a little more description of what we have and, and just very easy, quick sign up. And just so you know, everything's delivered instantly electronically. So as soon as you as you join and order the course, you instantly get access. So you the email that with your receipt has your user ID and password to our online learning center, and you're off to the races literally as soon as you sign up. We're also going to give you a couple of bonuses. Um, you do need a website to do this business, so we give you a credibility website. It's ready to go literally in 15 minutes. You just go onto our website, you fill in your basic information, like what do you want to call your business? You know, Bob's refunds, Sally's money for you, whatever you want to call it. And we do go in the training into how you name your business and what you should name it. But literally, you just fill in a couple of pieces of information, like the name of your business, what phone number you want people to call, what address you want to use, could be a PO box, could be your home address, could be anything. Um, we also give you ways to get business addresses if you want that very inexpensively. But most importantly, you need credibility to close your deals. You can't not have a website. And you also need an email address that's, you know, sally at wehaveyourrefund.com. It cannot be sally at yahoo.com because it's not credible. So we'll teach you how to set that up. Again, all very inexpensively. You can get from GoDaddy or one of the other providers a custom email like that for $5 a month. So Again, very inexpensive business to run. We teach you how to do all those things that from the beginning, you're not starting at a disadvantage. You're starting with everything you need. And when you act now, we'll give you that website for free. And we even pay the hosting cost on it. We can cover that. All you have to do is reserve a domain name, which we teach you how to do. Basically, a domain name costs you about $12 to $13 a year. So again, no major expenses with this business. That's why I said at the beginning, there's not a lot of risk in this business because you're not putting a lot into any one deal or even to setting it up. $1,497 cost to get started. That is really cheap to learn a whole business where one deal can get you many times that. You know, sort of your run-of-the-mill 
$40,000 deal is going to get you, you know, 10 times that cost. So anyway, when you act now, you get this bonus credibility website for free. It can be set up in minutes, really simple. Second, we're going to teach you how you can use VAs, which are virtual assistants. And virtual assistants are just people that help you from their own workplace. Some of them are abroad, like in the Philippines and places like that. And some of them are in the United States. You can choose to work with whoever you want. People in the Philippines are very inexpensive and speak perfectly good English. They're great for some work. Sometimes we use stateside people that are more expensive that to do work, like we might use them to do a logo or something. Anyway, virtual assistants, what they're going to do for you, they'll get the list of people owed the money. They'll find the people, meaning get their good contact info. They can even contact them and get the deal under contract. Although I think especially at the beginning of your business, you want to keep that part in-house. You want to be calling people as the business owner. That's good, what's going to work best. But as you grow your business and you start to do more, that's where we're going to have other people contacting them and getting under contract. That's what I have now in my business where I have a team that does that. So that's the second bonus. So you don't have to be doing the calling forever, just, just for, for part of the time. I'm also going to show you with the VAs because sometimes people get concerned. They're like, aren't they going to steal the business? The answer is no, because I'll show you how to divide up the work. So none of them know how the whole business works. So they don't know enough to steal the business. And what your job can become over time, if you want it to be a business like this, is the coordinator and director of these folks. You're the one that coordinates and directs. You're not grinding it out every day. You're talking to people on the phone. You're organizing everything, but you don't have to grind it out. You don't have to flip the burgers. You know, you're the burger manager, not the burger flipper. Third bonus, and this I think is one of the most important ones. We're going to give you three hours worth of live training when you register now. And my team and I are going to show you the system and answer your questions on the program live. Now, um, I go to some of the trainings. A, a lot of times I'm not there on the training because it's the evenings um, and I have family to take care of. But when I'm not there, my head of customer support is there who has been doing this business with us the whole time, all 10 years. So he's able to answer any questions. And if he needs to grab me and ask a question, he does. I've pre-recorded the base training so that it's edited, it's concise, it's precise, it's correct. So the most importantly, answer your questions live. But this, I want to be clear, is available only when you register now. We do staff it depending on how many attendees we're going to have. We decide how many people we have to staff it. If it's you know myself and my head of customer support or it's head of customer support and another support person, we staff it because we need to keep a student-teacher ratio because our commitment is that we'll answer every question that's asked on each call. So I want to make sure there are enough people to do that. And there's no waiting list on that. You know, It's something where they are after hours because it's 8 o'clock Eastern time on Mondays and um, on next three Mondays. So I can't have like 10 people sign up at the last minute and then all of a sudden I don't have enough people to answer questions and meet our commitment that we'll answer every question and every call. And it's really important to me to meet the commitments that I make. So there's no waiting list. When you order now, meaning during this webinar, you are in on the live training. If you don't order now, you can still order, but you don't get on the live training. So it's it's really simple and clean. And again, the details on that, there are three one-hour training calls starting Monday at 8 o'clock Eastern time. But keep in mind, the hour is, is a little figurative because we do commit to answering all the questions that are asked. So the call may run over an hour if there are a lot of questions. So you don't have to stay the whole hour. The base training will be done in an hour. But if there are questions and you want to stay on, you can. So just, just keep in mind, you know, we don't stop the call because an hour, we will keep answering questions. Um, the calls are recorded so you can listen to them later. You know, you don't have to um, worry about like, oh, I couldn't make that call or I had to leave in the middle or something. They are recorded so you can listen to them later or maybe you want to listen a second time. You're free to listen to them as much as you want. But the class is strictly limited to those who register now, again, because I want to be able to meet my commitment to answer every question. I need to get it adequately staffed and that means I need to know my numbers now. Um, so it's, it's limited to those who register now. So I want to leave you with this. You know, what you're seeing on your screen are pictures of our happy students who, you know, are collecting checks and, you know, making things happen. And these are regular people, just like you, just like me. They're tall people, short people, darker colored people, lighter colored people, men, women, all kinds of people. And what they share is that they're willing to take something on and to do more in life. You know, they, they see like the news of inflation, the news of economic this and that, and they don't get scared and bury their head. And so they say, what can I do to make my life better and my family's life better? 
And they identified this business as a business that, you know, I can help people and I can make great money to meet my needs and my family's needs. And this is just amazing. And that's what you're seeing on the screen. And, you know, we looked at the lists as you know, we looked at, at these lists. There's, these are current lists, by the way. These are lists of money sitting there right the second, available to claim, millions of dollars, just over these three. There are just millions and millions of dollars in there. There's enough room for you. This is not a saturated business by any stretch of the imagination. You'll find most of the claims just as cheap because no one ever calls them. There aren't enough people doing this. So it's a wide open thing. Now, is it going to be wide open forever? Probably not. At some point, you know, years from now, it is going to be saturated, so it's not something to wait on. But I would say that this is something that you want to tackle and do because you can make your life great and you can save up money. And by the time a lot of people will get involved in this, it'll be, you know, you'll be rich and wealthy and, and won't need to worry about it. But right now, this is the opportunity. The other thing I like about this is that you don't need to invest a lot of money in it. You know, it's not... So $1,497 for the course. So we'll call that for round figures, $1,500 for the course. And oh, by the way, there is a payment plan, three payments of $597 available. If that works better for you, it's a payment of $597 now. You get full access to the course, fully go. And then 30 days from now, there's another $597. And 30 days after that, another $597. It is a little more expensive to do the payment plan because it's, you know, two reasons. One, it's more expensive for us to administer. And secondly, you know, we have to chase people around sometimes for the second and third payments. It just takes us more time. And if you'll save me time and effort, then I'll save you a little bit of money. So, you know, if, if you have to do a payment plan, do it though. It's not, you know, terribly punitive, but it's it's a little cheaper if you can just do one payment of fourteen ninety seven. In any event, you know, I love this business because it is low risk, not a lot of money to get started, not a lot of money to do any, any one deal. And even if you just did one deal, you can you could pay for this whole thing. And I don't think that you're going to do one deal. I think you're going to do lots of deals because you'll love this business. It's so exciting to help people and make great money. When people ask, oh, what do you do? It's like, I help people who've lost a house at, at foreclosure, get money back and help them get restarted. Because I tell people all the time when they ask me, like, well, that's amazing. What, how's that work? And that's what you're going to be telling people. It's a business you can really be proud of. These claims come in all different sizes. Sometimes we have people that start out life with, with some small claims just because then they're not nervous. And often that's, that is a challenge for people. They get nervous about calling in those big claims. So they'll start out with some small ones. And that's fine because you can make money on small claims. You're, obviously, you want to get to the bigger claims as fast as you're, as you're mentally comfortable with it. By the way, same process for big or small claim. There's no like extra scrutiny because it's a big claim versus small claim. So it's really just as soon as you're comfortable, you can get on the big claims and, and just make more money for the same work. But you know, I'm not critical of anybody. You do what, what fits best into your mental framework and, and what you want to accomplish. But most of all, do this. If you're here this long, then this is something you need to try. Just give it a shot do one deal and see how it works. It's a pretty simple, straightforward business. We'll give you all the training that you need and you can learn how this works. And then just go out there and start making some calls and signing some people up. Now, everybody's not going to sign up. I promise you it's that proverbial, you know, you lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Some people will say no. Some people will say yes. The people that say yes will be so glad that they met you and you reached out to them. They'll be tickled pink. So that's it for now. So go to startoverjustoday.com or dial toll-free 877-715-4342. Again, start over just today.com or call the toll-free number 877-715-4342. And we do have people that answer the phone live 24-7 because that's how we run our office. So you're free to call, you know, no matter whether it's very early in the morning, late at night, whatever, you can call anytime. And when you sign up now, before this presentation concludes, you do get included in our live training, which will be Monday starting at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And should last an hour, but again, our commitment is to answer every question asked, so it may be an hour and a half, or it just depends on how many questions. But the main training will be over in an hour, so you can then feel free to continue staying on, listening to questions, asking your own questions, or, or you know, bow out at that point. Either one's fine. This is a business that needs more people doing it. There are not many people doing it. It's an obscure little business that is a huge opportunity for you to help people and make an amazing life for yourself and for the people you care about. And, and just helping people that desperately need it. And this is a way for you to get control over your life. 
to make it so inflation just doesn't matter. You know, and you're collecting five, 10, 15, $20,000 checks for yourself, meaning your portion. It just doesn't matter if gas prices went up. Because if you need extra money, you just make some extra calls and do an extra deal. It's pretty straightforward. So this is Bob Diamond, attorney and investor. I'm so glad you've been here. Thanks for staying to the end. I trust that you found this really worthwhile and that you've you know, identified a really amazing new business to get started. And I look forward to having your pictures be the next pictures that are up here of your smiling face with checks. And you can see there are all kinds of people that are successful with this. Older, younger, darker, lighter, better looking, not better looking, skinnier, not skinnier. I'm doing my best to be politically correct here. I'm kind to people. But the point is all kinds of people can be successful. The person that's going to be successful is someone who cares and really will devote the time and effort to it. If you're that, then you can be successful with this. And, and let us teach you the business. Let us help you be successful. And let's go out there together and make a huge difference in people's lives that desperately need it. Because these people that lost their place at a tax sale desperately need the help. So go to startoveragestoday.com and get started. You'll be starting in five minutes or dial toll-free 877-715-4342. Either way, you'll get instant access emailed to you, user ID and password, and you can literally be starting your training five minutes from now. So this is attorney and investor Bob Diamond. Thanks so much for being here. On behalf of myself and all of us in our office, we really appreciate you. We look forward to working with you, and we look forward to helping people together with you. So over and out from now, I look forward to seeing you on training.